The Psychological Analysis of Private Pile by Parker Adams. Private Pile is a character in the movie Full Metal Jacket. He is overweight and unable to perform many of the tasks required by the regiment of the boot camp. He is verbally and physically abused by the gunnery sergeant. He is also embarrassed in front of the entire platoon on multiple occasions. Pyle is also physically assaulted by the entire platoon, including his mentor, Joker. The portion of the film being analyzed is set in a marine boot camp during the Vietnam War. The boot camp is a highly stressful environment. It is designed by the Marine Corps to break down recruits and build them back up as killing machines. Private Pyle seems to suffer from borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder is characterized by a chronic pattern of instability. Symptoms can include efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment, intense bouts of anger, anxiety, and depression, recurrent suicidal behavior, losing touch with reality, impulsivity, risk-taking, hostility, and the tendency to judge people as entirely good or entirely bad. Private Pyle's disorder would not likely be diagnosed if he saw a therapist in this culture. During this time, the military needed all the recruits it could get. They likely would have overlooked Pyle's condition as in need of more shaping. Borderline Personality Disorder Across Cultures Borderline personality disorder is not likely diagnosed in all cultures since the disorder makes an individual look like someone who is on a constant emotional roller coaster. Anyone who suffers from borderline personality disorder is subject to stigmas such as they just want attention or they choose to be this way. Private Pile displays distortions in thoughts and sense of self and attempting to avoid real or imagined abandonment. Private Pyle continuously alienates himself from the group due to his failures as a recruit. Pyle's alienation coupled with breaking down and shaping <clears throat> of the boot camp causes Pyle to su subject his sense of self to whatever behaviors Hartman and Joker, Pyle's mentor assigned to him by Hartman, deem as good. This indicates the intense attachment and subsequent distortion of self-image that comes with borderline personality disorder. Throughout the rest of boot camp, Private Pyle becomes one of the best recruits, warranting praise from Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. However, the night after graduation, Pyle, in order to avoid the sense of abandonment he will feel by leaving boot camp and separating from Hartman, goes into the bathroom of the barracks and plans to kill Hartman. This same fear of abandonment leads Pyle to fatally shoot Hartman and then himself. A symptom of borderline personality disorder that Private Pyle does not show is the tendency to judge people as entirely good or entirely bad. If this were the case, Private Pyle would have seen the entire platoon as bad after being beaten by all of them with soap bars, Joker included, who becomes his mentor after the soap bar scene. At the end of the movie, Private Pyle had the gun aimed at Joker after he shot Hartman. Instead of shooting Joker, Pyle turns the gun on himself. Treatment for Private Pyle would most likely include dialectical behavioral therapy. This treatment would be most effective for Private Pyle because A, it would intervene with his problematic behavior, and B, it would also teach him how to shift his thinking from intense fear of rejection and abandonment to potentially being able to accept moving forward with life without an emotional anchor to tether himself to. There are no ethical concerns with this treatment, However, it would not be feasible for Pyle to receive the treatment he needed in this environment. The Marine Corps and their objective of breaking down an individual and shaping them does not allow for Private Pyle to receive this treatment. Broader Perspectives on Private Pyle's Disorder Private Pyle's portrayal of borderline personality disorder is not an entirely accurate one. This is mainly because he was not volatile enough, as is characteristic of borderline personality disorder. He shows signs of borderline personality disorder, but he does not portray the correct intensity or frequency that is connected to it. Movies can easily affect how people, the public looks at borderline personality disorder. People are more likely to believe something that they have seen with their eyes rather than they have heard with their ears. Thank you.